you could say this is the weekend of the two annunciations. The announcement by Gabriel, first as we hear today in the gospel, to Zechariah, and in effect to Elizabeth. And tonight and tomorrow we'll hear the second annunciation. Again, Gabriel, now coming to Mary, announcing, inviting, and waiting for her response. We have just heard how Zechariah questions, doubts, and as a result is not able to speak until the birth of his son, John. Mary, in a similar way, questions, but we hear how differently the response is. And so I invite you this morning, as we're so close to the celebration of Christmas, to, re to just reflect upon the two annunciations, how Zechariah, a priest, good man in so many ways, obviously, but not only questions, but as Gabriel senses very much, doubts that this can be, physically and spiritually. And likewise, we know that tonight and tomorrow, as we listen to the Gospel of Luke, and we hear the Annunciation, now Gabriel to Mary, a response that is different. I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done to me as you wish, as you ask. And so for us as well to be aware, not just thinking about it, but in our own hearts, what is it that God invites of us? Not necessarily by the Archangel Gabriel, but nonetheless, we know as part of God's desire that he has a plan for every one of us, that as we hear with Zechariah and Elizabeth, total change from what they anticipated in their lives. Mary, Joseph, and the church in so many ways. But we would not anticipate, that, and yet we have seen unfold in God's plan for us. <laughs> 